student program here at the school. Um, and I have uh, Mr. Eustis here, our school's president, he just wants to say a couple words, and Mrs. Williamson, our school's principal as well. So um, I think Mrs. Williamson usually joins us on the tour, so you'll be able to talk to her along the way. Well, welcome everyone, welcome to Connecticut. It is a beautiful day uh, after a very long winter, in which we had about 100 inches of snow. Uh, so we are very happy to see green grass and leaves growing on trees. Uh, it's a beautiful part of Connecticut. You're, you're in, uh, you're just west of Hartford, in the town of West Hartford. Uh, you have a beautiful Talcott Mountain uh, off to your left here, uh, which is, there's another valley on the other side of it. This is a private uh, Catholic high school, co-educational, grades 9 through 12, about 600 students, of which about 300 are boys and about 300 are girls. It's pretty uh, pretty even that way. Sometimes it's 51, 49, 42, or 48, 52, but generally it's close to 50, 50 with boys and girls here. Um, students are involved beyond academics in a variety of things such as athletics and music and performing arts and chorus and plays, uh, you name it, uh, photography, astronomy. Uh, in fact, I just heard an announcement for an astronomy class is moving into a darker theater today. Uh, we, we, we truly enjoy the kids here. We, we give them a full experience of, of high school. Um, we're preparing them for their college years. Uh, many students travel all over the United States to go to college. In fact, I just was speaking with a young lady yesterday who's going to the University of San Diego next year. Uh, so outside of going to Hawaii, you really can't go any farther to college in the United States, about 3,500 miles. Um, our kids, um, about three quarters of the kids here are Catholic. Uh, all the students do take religion as part of their academic day, and the courses change each year. Uh, they take their typical classes in math and science and social studies, arts and whatnot. Um, we have about 50 full-time teachers on staff, 48 to 50. Uh, we have plenty of facilities. We have two gyms, we have two theaters, mm -hmm. We have a dedicated music room. All of our athletic fields are on the other side of the school. Uh, this beautiful entryway was built uh, almost three summers ago. Uh, we continue to do renovations in the building, adding security. All of the windows and doors have been put in in the last two years. Uh, we've put in a brand new heating system. We've air conditioned our 730 seat auditorium, which for the first time in 54 years, five years that is now uh, cool in there because uh, we use the auditorium as our church also that's where we celebrate mass every month um, high achieving academics here the class of 2013 uh, had the highest SAT scores in school history uh, uh, last year's advanced placement scores were I believe the highest or second highest in school history uh, for as long as the advanced placement tests have been around um, so you have some very high academic achievers here, and, and we're very proud of that. Uh, we have a great percentage of students who get into their first choice college. And so we have a wonderful group of college counselors and guidance counselors that take them through that process, uh, basically beginning in their junior year, their third year. Um, so that's kind of a quick overview of the school. Any, any questions that, that pop into your heads, feel free to ask. Mrs. Williamson is our school principal. Um, the Catholic schools in Connecticut tend to work on what they call a president-principal model. Um, so basically, Mrs. Williamson's responsible for the academic religious portion of the day. I'm responsible for the business operation of, of the school, uh, making sure families pay their bills, working with admissions, our brand, our marketing, our athletics, our, our things like that. So we kind of divide and conquer the, the day, so to speak. But on your tour, if you have any questions, please ask Margie. represent all around the world. Yeah, um, I spoke to people uh, while we were waiting for the restroom uh, from Spain, Korea, uh, China, any other? Brazil. Brazil? Brazil, any? A Russian Federation. Russian Federation. Japan. 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 Welcome. Latvia. Latvia. Colombia. 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 So, so you folks from Northern Europe can appreciate what the winter <laughs> this is going to be beautiful here today. In fact, it's going to be warm, uh, from what I understand. Uh, but the school stayed relatively cool. We don't have air conditioning everywhere. 
uh, but in certain parts. But it does with these new windows and doors, it stays relatively cool and it's not, it's not uncomfortable. If this is a private well, the bus is there, but that's a private country club golf course right across the street. And then behind us is a residential neighborhood. So it's a very quiet, peaceful area uh, right here. Uh, this, is, this road is really only for the golf course and the high school. So there's not a lot of traffic that goes by. Um, and the people behind us are, there's, you know, baseball fields and a pool. Um, so we're, we're in a very special area. It, it, it's conducive to very good learning. And as you can tell, the bus just shut off how quiet it really is around here. Um, occasionally, you'll hear the four from the golf course if a golf ball goes astray. But every now and then, we'll pick one up out here in the grass. Um, but anyway, enjoy your day. Uh, I'll be around. Mrs. Williamson's around. Andrew's around. Ask any questions um, that you want. We'll take you anywhere you want to go. Uh, we have just renovated our gymnasium. The doors are open. We'll just ask you not to step in because we just finished the floor and there's that polyurethane on top. But please feel free, the lights are on, look in, uh, and um, yeah, have at it. Let me just, uh, I'll talk a little bit about our international program. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Excuse me. We've been working with uh, Chris and those guys for about seven years now, I'd say. Um, and, and it's been great. We, we have a total in the school of 18 international students. Uh, China, <laughs> India, we have students from Korea. You know, uh, Germany, Spain, Brazil, Mexico. So we've had students from all over, um, and, and they do really well. We, I have two seniors graduating this year, and they are going to uh, Syracuse University and Penn State. So they're some great uh, college placements. Uh, I've had a number of students, uh, particularly uh, a lot of the Chinese students, do very well in the art, and they they want to go on. So I've had students go to. Uh, Rhode Island School of, Rhode Island School of Design. Design and uh, Pratt, um, FIT. So a lot of uh, great, great art schools have come out of it as well. Um, let's see. I have, before, before they have to go to class, I want to introduce uh, Matthias and Yolanda. Uh, they're, they're two of our, uh, our students from DMD. So we got Matthias, who's here from Germany, uh, Yolanda from China, uh, Kuming in Berlin. Is that correct? Yeah. Wonderful. Um, got it right. <laughs> Yolanda thought I said that Matthias was from Japan earlier when we were talking, and I was trying to introduce. And then she got confused when she actually saw some Matthias and um, So can you guys just tell them a little bit about yourselves? Just what grade you're in, uh, where you're from, and, and kind of what your experience has been like? You want to start first? Sure. Hi everyone, my name is Yolanda, and I come from China, and I'm here for sophomore year. Honestly, the school is great and welcome to Northside. Hello, my name is Matthias. I'm from Germany. I'm here just for my junior year, so I'm going to leave in June. Um, I'm living here in a host family. They have one son. I come very good along with him. I have a great experience here. The school is pretty nice, nicer than my German school. And <laughs> I have a great time here. Wonderful. And um, you guys talk a little bit about the homestay experience. Uh, what do you do with your host family? Um, they actually, they're both lucky. They, they both live with uh, a current North Coast Catholic family. So they both have a host sibling as well. So can you talk a little bit more about the host families? Sure. You want to start this? Yeah. Okay. Um, in my home, I live with host family here, and she had a daughter, which is a senior in Northwest. We use it really like she always involved us in many activities so that way we feel like in home not in another country away from family that make us feel more comfortable leaving them um, basically we all we used to do is cooking they love cooking so I help them mm -hmm. cooking and you know hang around with them so we kind of getting along well like family members my family, they have four kids, um, all four work Northwest. I think the oldest daughter, she's 24, and she also has a child already. So the only sibling who lives at home is my host brother, his name is Declan. He's a sophomore here, and I spend a lot of time with him. We're doing a lot of stuff, we're cooking around in the house, and I'm a very loud person at the house, I have to say. And we are... Going off to, uh, we're going every Sunday to church. My family's uh, Catholic, I'm Catholic too. 
so it's fit, fits good. And yeah, what else are we doing? We're doing a lot of out, a lot of things outside. My host brother is a Boy Scout, and I'm going with him to camp out every month, one weekend. Yeah, that's what I'm doing with him. Now, before I send them back to class, because I, I don't want to keep them too long, does anybody have any question um, just for for them from the student perspective? Anything at all? No. What? Oh, no. Go ahead. What do you find the most difficult things? Yeah. The most <laughs> difficult thing for me. Um, the language is actually not, no. yeah, probably the language at the first weeks, especially in subjects where a lot of new words like chemistry or religion, they were pretty difficult for me because there were a lot of new words, but most difficult, I think that's the most difficult thing. Well, there's a lot of things that's different for me because you know, Eastern culture and Western culture, that's a lot different. So probably need some time to get, you know, get used to it. And the way that, you know, the way that people think and talk, and again, language, there's lots of terms for you to learn if you're gonna take a class here. So which course is the most uh, difficult for Chinese students? I think English is the one because they do lots of literature things. That's gonna be a little bit hard. And sometimes for for the um, science, because they have lots of terms. <laughs> okay. Um, one one class that we do have, we do not have ESL at the school, um, but we do have a class for the uh, new international students, and we call it American Language and Culture. And it's it's one period a day. And it's, it's a nice time for all of those students get, to get together. And they talk about different things that are going on. Um, just, you know, we had our, our spring musical uh, this two weeks ago. So they spent a couple days talking about the American, American theater and the different musicals going on. Around Christmas time, we talk about Christmas, Thanksgiving. Um, they do some, some English work, I believe, yeah. um, some grammar, uh, vocabulary, and whatnot. So it's a nice time for the, the students to get together. Uh, we do have a week-long orientation for all of our international students. They come here a week before the, uh, the uh, American students. Um, and at that orientation, we have student ambassadors, American student ambassadors. So we try to match them up pretty much one-on-one -on -one with an American um, friend that they can kind of keep throughout the year. Um, and next year, we will be starting a mentor program with the teachers. So we are also going to assign each international student. So they'll have their American student ambassador, but they'll also have another teacher outside of me and, and the other um, two faculty members that really work with the international students. They'll have somebody else that they can really go to and talk um, and they'll meet with them you know, once a week or so just to make sure everything's going well. Um, at this point, I'm gonna send you two back to class because I know I'm gonna test with something I think about chemistry, so I'll let them go.